for the win! Got it! Jeremy Lin has many endorsement deals, including Adidas and Tag Heuer. But it wasn't always this way. More lifestyle, career, and personal life stuff coming up big time hoop style. Mansions. When Lynn was playing for the Nets, my man rented an Airbnb in Brooklyn, according to the New York Times. Mansion Global has rounded up five luxury properties in Brooklyn for Jeremy to consider purchasing if he intends to live in New York full time. This duplex includes four bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms. The master bathrooms feature a glass-encased wet room with a walk-in shower and soaking tub. This is perfect for Lynn to relax in after intense practices or games. This newly renovated apartment is on the 21st floor of One Hanson Place, the landmark building with a soaring clock tower. It includes two bedrooms, two baths, and a media room. And it comes with a furnished wraparound terrace with views of Brooklyn skylines. Downstairs are nine subway lines making for a convenient commute to the Nets practice facility in Sunset Park and the main court at Barclays Center. Jeremy now currently owns a house in China. We couldn't find anything on this pad, but you know Jeremy Lin is bringing that heat to the Far East Coast. Cars. Jeremy Lin can drive to the hoop, but cars don't seem to matter that much to him. My man prefers his own sponsor, Volvo. Although we don't know the details of which model he drives, at 6'3", I'm going to guess it's probably an SUV. Talk about clutch time. Jewelry. The one-time champion looks as stylish off the court as he is on it. Most of the time, Lynn likes to wear a Rolex, sometimes a Bulgari. However, in 2015, he became a Tag Heuer ambassador. The brand also released a special edition Aqua Racer Caliber 5 Jeremy Lin Edition. The black nylon brand looks clean with that light yellow trim. The partnership ended a few years later, but together they both had some pretty good times. Pun intended. With that, Lin's sanity has a current net worth of... Wait, we're going to get to that in a bit. Background. Jeremy Lin was born in Torrance, California when Shirley and Guy Ming Lin welcomed a bouncing baby boy on August 23, 1988. His parents emigrated from Taiwan to the United States in the mid-70s. They first settled in Virginia before moving to Indiana where they both attended universities to study engineering and computer science. The family's educational identity also influenced Jeremy, but my man was also passionate about basketball. Therefore, Jeremy continued education and basketball together. Lynn sent his resume and a DVD of his high school highlights to all of the Ivy League schools, the University of Cal Berkeley, and his dream schools, Stanford and UCLA. The Pac-12 schools wanted him to walk on rather than be actively recruited or offered an athletic scholarship. Harvard and Brown were the only teams that guaranteed him a spot on their teams, but Ivy League schools do not offer sports scholarships. He chose Harvard, where he was a three-time all-conference Ivy League player, but went undrafted. Career First, Lynn signed with his home team in Golden State, but he was waived by the Warriors and Rockets before he joined the New York Knicks early in the 2011 season. He played sparingly for them, but in 2012 he was promoted to the starting lineup and led the team to a seven-game winning streak. His exceptional performance took the Knicks to the playoffs. Most of us remember Lynn's sanity and how Jeremy took over the league for half a season. He was a media sensation and was all over the place. He was the only Asian American ever that could ball like this. Jeremy says it was overwhelming with everyone putting a superhero persona on him. Imagine bouncing in the G League from team to team. You're just trying to barely make a roster while sleeping on a teammate's couch. Then you blow up and there are paparazzi following you everywhere. Fear of people chasing down your family and racial slurs coming from all angles. He had people popping out of bushes, girls proposing to him and all kinds of stuff to deal with. Lynn said he regretted those times and just wanted to prove himself as a player. It's been 10 years now and HBO just came out with a documentary called 38 at the Garden. Jeremy seems to finally be content with what happened. At the end of the day, he gave Asians and underdogs everywhere hope. Lynn was named as one of the most influential people in the world by Time Magazine in 2012. He also won the ESPY Award for Breakthrough Athlete of the Year. 
After his Knicks tenure, Lynn played for many teams, including the Rockets, Lakers, Hornets, Nets, Hawks, and the Toronto Raptors. Over his nine-year career in the NBA, he averaged about 12 points and four assists. In 2019, he left the NBA and signed with the Beijing Ducks, where he became an all-star in the Chinese Basketball Association. Now that we know a little about Lin's b-ball career, let's get into how he makes that dough, baby. Contracts Jeremy rose to stardom with the Knicks, where he took home around $760,000 that season. After Lin's sanity, though, his earning power went through the roof. The following summer, Lin entered free agency, and with his stock skyrocketing, he signed a huge $25 million three-year deal with the Rockets. He spent two relatively productive years in Houston prior to the team trading him to the Lakers in the summer of 2014. That season, Lynn reportedly pocketed a massive $15 million from the Lakers. However, Lynn once again entered free agency in 2015. But because his season in LA left a lot to be desired, his value plummeted. Lynn signed with the Charlotte Hornets for $4.4 million for two years. When he moved to the Brooklyn Nets, he received a higher amount, $11 million for the 2017 season and $12 million the next season. Lynn then moved to the Atlanta Hawks, where he earned $11 million with them. In China, Lin was paid $3 million a year with the Beijing Ducks. Over his entire playing career, Jeremy Lin earned over $64 million. Talk about reining it in. Endorsements Lin has a reputation for being a very selective endorser. He has passed on millions in endorsement deals since he rose to fame in 2012. From 2010 to 2014, Lin endorsed Nike. They did release a Hyperfuse Low Edition as well as an Air Force One. Jeremy signed with Adidas after he parted ways with the Lin Sanity era Nike. His player editions showed his family roots and thoughtful personal style. His deal was $3 million a year for five years. Talk about earning them stripes. After he left the NBA, Lin signed with XTEP, China's third largest athletic wear brand. His shoes, the Levitation 4, were difficult to grab and sold out within minutes of their release. He's also had deals in the past with Steiner Sports, Tag Heuer, and Volvo. Jeremy Lin earns $4 million yearly from his contracts with these companies. He also banks hefty fees for appearances in Asia. However, Jeremy Lin isn't just a pretty face for someone else's brand. He knows the best way to create wealth is to unlock Warren Buffett mode so your bread makes more bread while you sleep. In February 2017, Jeremy Lin invested $15 million in Plays.tv, a video sharing gamer community. In July 2018, he invested $4 million in Next Team, a California based mobile AI company. Now that we know where Jeremy gets his money from, let's talk about how he gives back. Charity. Jeremy Lin is definitely aware of the realities of the world, so he's doing his best. My man is involved with a wide variety of charities. He founded the Jeremy Lin Foundation, a nonprofit that works with children and youth to provide hope, empowerment, leadership, and overall development. Apart from this, Lin is also collaborating with the Threes for the Hope Charity Foundation. This charity is based on Lin's wish to be an inspiration for people to follow their dreams. For every three-pointer he scores, he donates to various organizations globally. This includes causes like supporting children from vulnerable families or communities to give them an opportunity to thrive. Talk about making your squad better. Net worth. Now's the time we've all been waiting for. How much is Jeremy Lin worth? With everything going on in Lin's life, he has a net worth of $36 million. 